How's it going guys? So Kilpur again, thank you for checking in and in this video I want to go back to my previous um, UI design tutorial series and especially I want to talk about the grid system and I think gridding is definitely one of the most important things in web design or in basically any type of design that you do either if you're doing local design, if you're doing like um, poster design or menu design or whatever product design gridding is just very very important and I think gridding can definitely separate a designer from okay designer to a great designer. Even if your design skill is not really good, as long as you stick your design within the grid, everything will just become to look better. And I think it's very important. And in this video, I'm going to tell you how you should use your gridding system and what is the system and why should you care. So let's jump right in. So why is gridding very important? And the first reason, there are two main reasons that I think why this is so important and I'm going to quickly go over my reasoning. The first reason is, gridding will help you to align your content. Pretty obvious, right? Think about if you have like a hundred different things that you need to put on your website right now. And a hundred different things, right? If you manually align things um, here and there, you will definitely not get everything in a strict line. If you're working on a website that only have like one or two things, you may not need a grid. But if you're working on a website, think about like newspaper websites, right? If they don't have a grid system, everything will be very messy. Or if you think about like a manual design, right? If you go to a restaurant, if you look at a menu, menu has a lot of content in it, right? If things are not aligned, you'd be so frustrating to read, right? So gridding definitely helps to align your content. And the second reason is, if you're working with a developer, even like I code on my design too, right? When I have a grid to stick to, I instantly know that like how wide should that content be. So how wide should that kind of like content box be, my image to be. Um, a content box can be let's say 5 column grid, 12 column grid, uh, whatever grid you set to it, right? With the gridding system basically just make everything so much more um, easier to know. So gridding is definitely help you with the alignment, make things tidy, and it's make the developer lives easier as well. So that's the two reasons. So what is the grid system you may ask? If you are just starting out, I'll strongly recommend that you check out this website called 960 Grid System. And personally, I think 960 is, is a bit outdated because a lot of people are having a lot of screen size now. And 960 is, I guess, like more than 10 years old. But still people use it. But I mean, I personally, when I'm designing, I use a bit wider grid. But anyways, we're learning the fundamentals now, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so for the system, there are you can read you can read all the content in here. Um, so in my based on my understanding, I think there's around like five to six different grid systems. So people use from like twelve grid system, sixteen, eighteen, um, twenty, twenty four. So which one do you use really depends on like what kind of content you have like what kind of content you're working with for some website for example like if you're working on a website for a newspaper company right then you're designing a website with a lot of content then you may want to consider using a column column grid that is a bit more so you may want to consider using maybe like a 12 column grid so you can have like five column layouts and stuff like that right so it really depends on what kind of um, content are you working with but again like read this stuff i think it's really helpful um, down below here as well like you can see how people are playing around with their grid system so you can like turn on and off the grid so for this example right they have like uh, four column in here four column and then two column two column and for the 16 grid column so here they have like three 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 and then four so this is three three so you can turn it on and see as well. So again, like which one you use really depends on the content you're working with. But I think in general, if you're sticking with 12 columns, you should be golden because a lot of my design right now, I just use 12. And I think 12, you can play around with a lot of different uh, variations as well. Um, so 12 is pretty good. But again, if you want to go fancy, you can go up to like 24. That should be fine as well. All right, so how do you actually apply the grid system in your design? I don't know what kind of design software do you guys use, um, but I'm sticking with Sketch for now. Um, so for Sketch, um, basically, when you create an artboard, your script, uh, your grid system should be there already. So let's uh, let's make an artboard. So if you look at this right, this artboard, you can turn on the grid system. Um, so out of the box, this is a nice 60 grid. So there are two things that you want to pay attention to when you're doing your grid. Um, the first thing is the uh, the, the the column width. So this part is the column width, and this part is the gutter width. 
Sometimes I'll increase this gutter width a little bit depending on the design that I'm working on um, because the gutter size sometimes I just want, want to have more room um, for the column to sort of like more room separating between the column because sometimes if you have like two things very close together 20 point is not good enough and out of the box right now this is 60 this is 20 and one more thing is sometimes I will increase the size because as I mentioned this is 960 um, points right now and 960 point is pretty small for modern browser width and sometimes let's just increase it a little bit to let's say 12 1280 or sometimes even a bit more depending on the design that I want to do but in but in sketch um you can go into this kind of like um, layout setting to see what your grid layout is right now so currently you can see that this is 960 and 2060 um, so again you can increase it you can play around with it but for the most part especially when I'm doing let's say dashboard design I think I don't need a lot of gutter size so 20 point is pretty good for for the, for the most part and now I have some example that I can show you some of my past work um, and I can demonstrate how do I sort of like use the grid system in my design. So for the first first one is the simple habit. Um, so if I turn on the grid, you can see that how do I play around with my content. So here I have a full grid size. Um, so this is 12 column grid. And for my content inside here, I have um, eight columns. So eight columns and then the button is somewhere between around like two columns grid size. And the title fonts, I'm like sort of having it within like this uh, the sixth column in here. So this is matching the top as well, um, A column for the other title size. So you see everything is sort of aligned, right? You see what, what I mean by the alignments. So again, going down four column, four column, two column, two column. This is another empty column I use between the image and the content. So that has like more white space for the page to breathe. And six column, six column, um, and then four column, two column, two column, two columns. Um, next, um, another work. So this one, turn on the grid again. So you can see that this this design, I sort of have things to breathing out. So this is like uh, using a grid for the whole width. So I have like a lot more room to play around with my content. Um, so here I have um, eight columns in the center for the hero part image. And then I have another like, eight columns in here and then two columns, two column, two columns, so that I can have three columns on both sides. So you see like each section, right? I think I made a video to talk about page layout as well. You want to have something like visual difference, like layout different between the sections. So when I use my grid like that, I can really play around with my content. So like three column in here, and then down below, I have a sort of a divider using gutter width for my divider. And then down below here, three column layout. So again, having one column on the side to be empty, and this as well, using another like one, two, three, four, five, six, six column in here. And then down below here, um, four columns, four columns, having like one column in here in the center part um, to be empty. So again, two column, two column, two column. So the whole thing is pretty dynamic, especially when you're looking at the design, right? Three column in here, three column here. There's a lot of white space that I can play around with. So for a website that I want to have a lot of white space, sometimes I'll just have my grid to be sort of like full width like that. And then again, three column, um, three column, three column, having one column here in the middle as empty. So four column in the center, having four column on both sides, four column footer area. Pretty spacious, a lot of white space, which I love. Um, and now this, another work. Turn on the grid again. Five columns in here. Actually, this is, should be like somewhere like that. So five column in here, four columns in here, two columns. Um, a columns, two columns, and within that, for each of these images, I have one column for them. Um, another like five columns, and see everything is lying towards like within the grid as well. Everything is like sort of like in the line, right? So in the line, and that's another example. And lastly, sometimes when I work on the dashboard, um, I do do the same thing as well. Basically, any type of design that I work on, they're all within the grid. So for this example, you can see that this is two columns grid. Um, it's supposed to be here, but because there, there's a, um, there is a highlighted test, like highlighted um, kind of like a pop-up thing. So then I'll align this icon to be um, aligning the logo. See, like everything I try to align everything so then they look a bit more tidy. So this is another seven columns in here. So within the seven columns, you can sort of notice that like this is another five column grid 
within the seven column. So sometimes if you have like contents that are um, that can be done within the script system, you can go ahead and create something. But again, when I create this, I draw some like little boxes in here. So I draw like twelve little boxes. Um, I'm not gonna show you in here. I think I somewhere have it in. I don't know if I have it in here. But I draw twelve little boxes and have like the gutter width to do to be twenty points. And this based on that twelve little guys, I, I draw out. So five column grid. And then again, like 12 column grid within the seven column grid. And lastly, in here as well, I have the sidebar and I have some hidden grid inside the sidebar area. So if you don't know, then I kind of double the size of whatever I have in here. So let's say if, oh, this is by the way, this is 2x. So this whole design is uh, times two. Um, that's my bad habit, you don't have to follow it. But basically, right now I have 40 point, right? 40 point. I have a hidden grid in here, so it's double 40 points. So basically, this is 80 point, right? 80 point to the whole thing, 80 point, and same as the other the other side as well. So 80 point, so that I have some some kind of padding space. And I want to increase the padding because I mean I feel I feel that if I use tw uh, only use 20 or 40 in here, the content's gonna be really really tight within the sidebar. So that's why I increase the um, I increase the uh, the padding size to be 80 point. But that's what I meant by, you know, like using your grid and being flexible. Um, but again, like you want to have everything sort of aligned. So if you stream out, then you can see everything is so tidy aligned, right? Like all the strict lines in here, strict line in here. So everything is sort of, uh, sort of like in the grid system, right? Um, this is aligning, see, like this and this. And this and this and this and this. So you can only do that when you use the grid system. If I if you don't use a grid system, right, it will be almost impossible for you to have something aligned. And even even this, do you like I even like column this right? So I try to have this is like the same column width as like uh, but yeah, anyways. But anyways, everything I try to make them to be sort of inside the grid. Oh but yeah, here, here, here. This is like inside here, right? See? See I play around with it? Yeah, so Again, grid system is very, very important. Definitely stick to it. Um, if you don't, your design is gonna look messy. So I promise you, this will definitely separate you from good to great. So play around with the grid system, find out the way to make one that work for you. And yeah, that's, that's what I wanna say about grid. So that's all I have for this video. If you find it helpful, share that with your friends and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.